Hello Tarot Witches! Today I want to show you how to cleanse and bless a deck. This process works for brand new decks or used that you maybe bought secondhand or found rummaging around the thrift store. And it also is great to do around a new moon, but you can do it anytime. Um, sometimes it's hard to wait when you get a deck for a new moon to cleanse it, so I totally get that. I'm going to also be unboxing and showing you my new deck, which is Tarot of a Moon Garden by Karen Marie Schweckhart, published by US Games. Okay, so some tools you'll want to have available, a selenite wand, a high quality incense or herb bundle, a quartz crystal or another favorite crystal, lighter incense holder, and I have a candle going too. Okay, so first thing is getting your incense lit or your herb bundle because we're going to use sacred smoke to cleanse the cards. And even if the card deck is brand new, you're going to want to cleanse it because it's touched some hands before it got to you. Okay, so I opened the card deck box and this fell out. So we're going to see what it is. Okay, look at this. It's a big layout of a spread. It's beautiful. Okay, next. I love when um, decks have a ribbon in here. It's easier to get things out. Look at this booklet. This is a beautiful, oh, I love when booklets Look at this, there's so much. Already you can see it. There's like beautiful drawings, extra information. Look at this, this is beautiful. I love when you can tell someone has put a lot of time and thought into what they created. They really are not just making another deck, but making a work of art. Oh, wow. Okay, this is very exciting. <laughs> Beautiful. I can already tell it's gonna be a favorite. Okay, let's look at the cards. Okay, all I can say is wow. They feel nice, they're nice and slippery. I like. I don't like when cards stick, because if you're reading for another person, it makes you look like you don't know what you're doing, even if you've been reading for over 20 years like me. Um, but look at that, so beautiful. Okay, but before I show them to you, I'm gonna cleanse them. Okay, so the, what I usually do is kind of run the cards over the sacred smoke and you can even, when you have time, like take a card, run it over the smoke, do it individual. And this is always like my second step anyway, after cleansing the cards, these feel really cool, you guys, um, is to put an imprint, like an actual physical imprint and look at each one to familiarize myself with them. The other thing is with the selenite wand, you can, cleanse each card if you don't like to use smoke or if this is like a used deck or you read for someone that has some pretty heavy energy you can just leave your deck out on like a altar and put the selenite over it and ask it to cleanse it so after i cleanse the deck and maybe each individual card depending on you know how you want to do things then like i said i go through and i look through the whole deck and i really let myself connect and I'll think and I'll really try to make this like a meditation experience right so um, we'll look at the card and we'll think you know okay what do I see like I try to look at it completely fresh you know even though I've been reading the tarot and this is obviously based on tarot cards I've seen before but this is you know different for the high priestess she's a mermaid why is she a mermaid right and I really just try to look at this before I even read the book because this helps kind of set your own intentions and tone, helps you connect differently. And so I'll go through the cards. I'm gonna show you all the major arcana. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Look at this. The strength card is one of my favorite cards in any deck, so I'm always curious. I love these kind of like unicorn pegasus type hermit is my card of the year i pull one major arcana per year and hermit's the focus for this year but here i am talking to you so <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful i like the plants and the colors it's like a tight color scheme oh my gosh so i always look at strength and death those are my two of my favorite major arcana cards this 
Oh, this is beautiful. I love the dragon. I love how this is got, oh wow, look at the devil. I have to say it's the most beautiful devil card, right? The tower. I also kind of like that there's no nudity on these cards because then I won't be censored when I show these. <laughs> uh, oh, and the sun is one of my other favorite cards. Look how beautiful the face of the sun is. This is just gorgeous. Okay, so I'll do what I've been doing with you and I'll go through and then I'll take the whole deck and I'll shuffle it a few times, which I don't want to do right now because I still want to continue to look at it. And then I will usually put a quartz crystal on top and lay my hands on top of the cards and say something like, may I understand the images in this car, in these cards, may I always see the truth, may always be able to hear the truth, may always be able to speak the truth for the highest good of all under the law of grace or something to that effect, right? And sometimes the, the books actually have a dedication or a prayer in them. And then from there, I shuffle again, and I usually give my best to the first card reading of every deck, but you can do it for yourself or whatever your method is and enjoy. This was fun.